Right now, three Connolly High School ROTC students are being called heroes for springing into action after witnessing a crash involving an 18-wheeler. As Fox 44's Kendall Green shows us, it turns out the folks they were helping weren't the strangers they were expecting. It was a normal game night for Aquavion, Landon, and Shania, all ROTC students at Connolly High School. They were just sitting down to eat dinner Thursday night, and then... I heard a big old collision, I'm like... What the heck? So me and Lennon Snyder, we like, boom, dashed out the car, we run, we like, oh crap. They dropped their food and with no hesitation, jumped in to help. Like, I was thinking like, was anybody uh, anybody hurt was to see if everybody was okay and stuff. So we decided to help him out and then really not knowing what, who was in the car, what happened. First thought was, you know, is anybody injured? Cause that, that was a big loud collision that happened. So at first we were, you know, waiting on the cars passed by then. Uh, inspected people in the car. All to find the people in that car were three of their classmates who were suffering from minor injuries. One of them had a split thumb, the other one, was, uh, he felt like his ribs were broken, and one of them couldn't remember much of what happened, even the game we had before then. The truck driver involved in that crash says things could have been a lot worse. That DOT bumper that you see right there that the federal government requires on all trailers kept them from going under my trailer and possibly decapitating or maiming all three of them seriously. I asked the students what made them get involved. If you got hurt, if you was in this situation, would you want anybody else to come and save you or help you out or, you know, call 911 to take your injuries if you couldn't do the same for your own self? Yeah. Aquavion told us the answer for him was simple. Because we're all human beings. I feel like everybody should care about one another. In Waco, Kendall Green, Fox 44 News.